Hello, this is for day 294 of Bible in one year, and our Bible text is Isaiah chapter 62 to 64 and then 1 Timothy chapter 1. So let's begin with Isaiah chapter 62. For Zion's sake will I not hold my peace, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest, until the righteousness thereof go forth as brightness, and the salvation thereof as a lamp that burneth. And the Gentiles shall see their righteousness, and all kings thy glory. And thou shalt be called by a new name, which the mouth of the Lord shall name. Thou shalt also be a, a crown of glory in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of thy God. Thou shalt no more be, ter be termed forsaken, neither shalt thy land any more, any more be termed desolate. But thou shalt be called Hephzibah, and thy land Beulah. For the Lord delighted in thee, and thy land shall be married. For as a young man marrieth a virgin, so shall thy sons marry thee. And as the bridegroom rejoiceth over the bride, so shall thy God rejoice over thee. I have set watchmen up upon thy walls of Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace, day nor night. Ye that make mention of the Lord, keep not silence, and give him no rest till he establish until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. The Lord had sworn by his right hand and by the arm of his strength, Truly I will no more give thy corn to be meat for thine enemies. And the sons of the stranger shall not drink thy wine, for the which thou, ha for the which thou hast labored. But they that have gathered it shall eat it, and praise the Lord, and they that have brought it together shall drink it in the courts of holiness. Go through, go through the gates, prepare ye the way of the people. Cast up, cast up the highway, gather out the stones, lift up a standard for the people. Behold, the Lord hath proclaimed unto the end of the world, Say ye to the daughter of Zion, Behold, the salvation cometh, behold, his reward is with him, and his work before him, and they shall call them the, the holy people, the redeemed of the Lord, and thou shalt be called sought out a city not forsaken. Isaiah chapter 63 Who is this that cometh from Adam, with dyed garments from Basra, this that is glorious in his apparel, traveling in the greatness of his strength? I did speak in righteousness, mighty to save. Therefore art thou red in thine apparel, and thy garments like him that treadeth in the winepress. I have tread on the winepress alone, and of the people there and of the people there was none with me. For I will tread them in mine anger, and trample them in my fury, and their blood shall be sprinkled upon my garments, and I will stain all my raiment. For the day of vengeance is in mine heart, and the day of my redeemed is come. And I looked, and there was none to help, and I wondered that there was none to uphold. Therefore mine own arm brought salvation unto me, and my fury it upheld me. And I will drive down the people in mine anger, and make them drunk in my fury, and I will bring them down, and I will bring down their strength to the earth. I will mention the loving kindnesses of the Lord, and the praises of the Lord, according to all that the Lord has had bestowed on us, and the great goodness toward the house of Israel, which he had bestowed on them according to his mercies, and according to the multitude of his loving kindnesses. For he said, Surely they are my people, children that will not lie. So he was this, their savior. In all their affliction he was afflicted, and the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and in his pity he redeemed them, and he bared them and carried them all the days of old. But they reveled and vexed his Holy Spirit. Therefore he was turned to be their enemy, and he fought against them. Then he remembered the days of old, Moses and his people, saying, where is he that brought them up out of the sea with the shepherd of his flock? Where is he that put his Holy Spirit within him, that led them by the right hand of Moses with his glorious arm, dividing the water before them, to make himself an everlasting name, that led them through the deep as an horse in the wilderness, that they should not stumble? As a beast goeth down into the valley, the Spirit of the Lord caused him to rest. So didst thou lead thy people, to make thyself a glorious name. Look down from heaven, and behold from the habitation of thy holiness, and of thy glory, where is thy seal and thy strength, the sounding of thy bowels, and of thy mercies toward me. Are they restrained? 
Doubtless thou art our father, though Abraham be ignorant of us, and Israel acknowledges not. Thou, O Lord, art of our father, our Redeemer. Thy, thy name is from everlasting. O Lord, why hast thou made us to err from thy ways, and hardened our heart from thy fear? Return for thy servants' sake, the tribes of thy in thine inheritance. The people of thy holiness have possessed it but a little while. Our adversaries have trodden down this, thy sanctuary. We are thine, thou never bearest rule over them. They were not called by thy name. Isaiah chapter 64 O oh, that thou wouldest rend the heavens, that thou wouldest come down, that the mountains might flow down at thy presence. As when the melting fire burneth, the fire causeth the waters to boil, to make thy name known to thine adversaries, that the nations may tremble at thy presence. When thou didst terrible things which we looked not for, thou camest down, the mountains flowed down at thy, at thy presence. For since the beginning of the world, man have not heard, nor perceived by the ear, neither had I seen, O God, beside thee, what he had prepared for him that waited for him. Thou madest him that rejoiceth, and worketh righteousness. Those that remember thee in thy ways, behold, thou art wrought, for we have sinned, in those is continuous, and we shall be saved. But we are all as an unclean thing, and all our righteousness are as filthy rugs, and we all do fade as a leaf, and our iniquities, like the wind, have taken us away. And there is none that calleth upon thy name, that seareth up himself to take hold of thee. For thou hast hid our face from us, and hast consumed us because of our iniquities. But now, O Lord, thou art our Father, we are the clay, and thou art potter, and we all are the work of thy hand. Be not wrought very sore, O Lord, neither remember iniquity forever. Behold, see, we beseech thee, we are all thy people. The holy cities are a wilderness, Zion is a wilderness, Jeru Jerusalem a desolation. Our holy and our beautiful house, where our fathers praise thee, is burned up with fire, and all our pleasant things are laid waste. Will thou refrain thyself for these things, O Lord? Will thou hold thy peace, and afflict us very sore? Okay, we now go to First Timothy chapter 1. Paul, an apostle of Jesus Christ, by the commandment of God our Savior, and Lord Jesus Christ, which is our hope, unto Timothy, my own son, in the faith, grace, mercy, and peace, from our God, from God our Father, and Jesus Christ our Lord. As I besought thee to abide still at Ephesus, when I went into Macedonia, that thou mightest charge some that they teach no other doctrine, neither give heed to fables and endless genealogies, which minister questions rather than godly edifying, which is in faith. So do. Now the end of the commandment is charity out of a pure heart, and of a good conscience, and of faith and faith, for which some, having swerved, have turned aside into vain jungling, desiring to be teachers of the law, understanding neither what they say, nor whereof they affirm. But we know that the law is good if a man use it lawfully, knowing this, that the law is not made for righteous men, but for the lawless and disobedient, for the ungodly and for sinners, for unholy and profane, for murderers of fathers and murderers of mothers, for manslayers, for warmongers, for them that defile themselves with mankind, for men stealers, for liars, for perjured persons, and if there be any other thing that is contrary to sound doctrine. According to the Lord's Gospel of the Blessed God, which was committed to my trust, and I thank Christ Jesus our Lord, who had enabled me, for that he counted me faithful, putting me into the ministry. Who was before a blasphemer, and a persecutor, and injurious, but I obtained mercy, because I did it ignorantly in unbelief. And the grace of our Lord was exceeding abundant with faith and love, which is in Christ Jesus. This is a faithful saying, and worthy of all acceptation that Christ Jesus came into the world to save sinners, of whom I am chief. How big for this cause I obtained mercy, that in me, first Jesus Christ, my show forth all, the, all long suffering, for a pattern to them which should hereafter believe on him to life everlasting. Now unto the King eternal, immortal, invisible, the only wise God, be honor and glory forever and ever. Amen.
This charge I commit unto thee, son Timothy, according to the prophecies which went before on thee, that thou by time mightest war a good fear, a good warfare, holding faith in a good conscience, which some having put away concerning faith have made shipwreck, of whom is Hymenaeus and Alexander, whom I have delivered unto Satan, that they may learn not to blaspheme. Alright, that's it for this one. Again, this is for D294, Bible in one year, and we've read Isaiah chapter 62 to 64, and then 1 Timothy chapter 1. Thank you, and God bless.